South Korea is entering a new era of armored warfare with its latest Redback X series, unveiled at the 2025 National Defense Industry Expo, INLEX. The Redback X, also known as the NIFV Block I, is a leap forward in infantry fighting vehicle technology, while the upcoming NIFV Block II promises to integrate stealth capabilities, advanced mobility, and intelligence systems. Together, these developments signal Hanwha Aerospace's long-term commitment to producing flexible, high-performance armored vehicles that meet both domestic and global demands. The Redback X represents the culmination of years of research and design stemming from South Korea's AS-21 Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle, initially created for export markets. Block I has passed critical preliminary design reviews and is being developed under the Export Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle Modification Development Program, which runs from October 2024 to March 2028. Its design emphasizes modularity, allowing it to adapt to operational requirements from different nations while significantly increasing the proportion of domestically produced components from 19% to 95%. This shift ensures reduced reliance on foreign suppliers, improved spare part availability, and alignment with South Korea's national policy of defense self-sufficiency. At the core of the Block I platform is a modular turret system capable of housing advanced weapons and sensor packages. Key systems include the Iron Fist Active Protection System, a 40mm case telescoped armament, CTA, cannon developed by SN Dynamics, and an anti-tank missile with a maximum range of 8 km. The Iron Fist system employs radar detection in both soft and hard kill interception methods to neutralize incoming threats, providing a layered defensive capability. Crew situational awareness is enhanced through the Iron Vision helmet mounted display projecting live feeds from external cameras directly into the armored cabin. This combination of protection, surveillance, and firepower ensures that the Redback X can operate in high-threat environments with greater survivability. Block 2 is conceived as the evolutionary successor to Block I, retaining its base platform while introducing significant enhancements in stealth, mobility, and combat efficiency. The vehicle incorporates a low observable design intended to reduce radar and infrared signatures. Electric propulsion and active suspension systems improve cross-country maneuverability, while intelligent fire control systems enable rapid engagement of multiple targets. Block 2 is also designed with survivability in mind, integrating features such as composite rubber tracks that reduce noise, cut weight by more than 50% compared to traditional steel tracks, extend operational life, and improve fuel efficiency. The combination of active suspension and advanced track systems ensures that the vehicle maintains speed and maneuverability even in challenging terrains. The overarching NIFV program envisions a next-generation infantry fighting vehicle weighing approximately 45 tons. It is designed to operate in manned unmanned teaming MUMT, scenarios, integrating artificial intelligence into command, control, and fire systems. Vehicles will be networked to broader operational architectures, allowing real-time sharing of battlefield intelligence and providing 360-degree situational awareness. Protection levels have been defined at level 6 for the upper hull and turret, with the underbody rated at level 4 against mines and improvised explosive devices. These specifications reflect a concerted effort to balance mobility, firepower, and crew survivability in a modern combat environment. The NIFV family's modular design is central to both its technical and industrial strategy. By allowing flexible integration of weapons and sensors, the Redback X can be customized for diverse operational doctrines and international export markets. This adaptability is a response to lessons learned from the AS-21 Redback's export experience, including its selection for Australia's Land 400 Phase 3 program, where the original order of 450 vehicles was reduced to 129 units. The Redback X builds on this experience, positioning South Korea as a competitive player in the global armored vehicle market. One of the primary drivers for the new development is the South Korean Army's existing K-21 fleet. Designed with amphibious capability in mind, the K-21 vehicles face limitations in survivability and structural resilience. Analysts have raised concerns that without a replacement, these vehicles could remain in service well into the 2030s, potentially compromising operational effectiveness. 
The Redback X program addresses these gaps by combining advanced armor, modularity, and next-generation systems. The phase development plan encompasses requirements validation and preliminary studies in 2024, program strategy in 2025, feasibility assessments in 2026, exploratory development from 2027 to 2031, and full-scale system development beginning in 2032. Production and operational deployment are projected for the mid-to-late 2030s. Block I serves as the foundation for industrial and modular capabilities, while Block II introduces low-observable shaping and cutting-edge automotive technologies. The stealth-oriented design of Block II allows for lower detection in multi-domain operations, while its electric propulsion and advanced suspension improve mobility in rough terrains. Together, these blocks demonstrate a forward-looking approach that integrates defense self-reliance with international market competitiveness. Armament and protection systems are designed with layered defense in mind. The 40mm CTA cannon provides superior firepower in a compact package, while the 12.7mm remote-controlled weapon station offers flexible support. Anti-tank guided missiles extend operational reach to up to 8 km. By housing these systems in a modular turret, Hanwha Aerospace ensures that vehicles can be quickly adapted for various mission profiles or customer requirements. Active protection systems, advanced sensors, and helmet-mounted displays contribute to enhanced situational awareness and crew safety, making the Redback X a technologically sophisticated platform rather than a single-purpose vehicle. Looking forward, the NIFV program emphasizes interoperability, technological advancement, and export potential. By integrating AI, network battlefield awareness, advanced protection, and mobility innovations, Hanwha Aerospace positions the Redback X as a cornerstone of South Korea's armored vehicle strategy. The program also aligns with national industrial goals, maximizing domestic production and reducing dependency on foreign subsystems. The combination of modular design, advanced survivability, and global market-oriented planning demonstrates a clear roadmap for armored vehicle modernization that could influence defense trends well into the 2030s. In conclusion, the Redback X initiative represents a strategic leap for South Korea in armored vehicle development. With modular turrets, active protection, AI integration, stealth features, and high domestic content, the NIFV program addresses both the limitations of existing vehicles and the requirements of future battlefields. As Block I establishes the industrial and technical foundation, Block II promises to push the platform toward full operational capability with advanced mobility, reduced detectability, and next-generation combat systems. This ambitious program not only strengthens South Korea's defense posture but also positions Hanwha Aerospace as a formidable contender in the global armored vehicle market.